Um, so what you see is Ubuntu running on smartphones. Um, the first thing you see is the welcome screen, and this is a visualization of how you, as an individual, use the phone. So it's totally personal to, to you. For me, 14 tweets today, and it's represented there. The other thing you'll notice is that we don't have any buttons, so no hard buttons or soft buttons. Um, and the reason for that is that we use all four edges of the phone to access content applications and get you easily and smoothly around the phone. I start by pulling out from the left here. You see that this is the launcher, the, um, where you can launch applications directly from here. Um, you can go home from here, um, where you'll see frequently used applications, activities on the phone, access to content that you might want quickly, as well as uh, access to stores on the If I scroll across from here, then I can get my access to people, um, finding out what they've been doing. Um, you'll see that this is pulling in content from not just my messages, but also from Facebook, um, Google, sorry. Also from Facebook and, and elsewhere as well. Uh, I can continue scrolling across and you've got music, um, things that you've recently added, but also again where you can buy content online. And then across here, the yeah, applications, those you've got running, videos, and again. Um, if I take you to um, an application, let's go to the gallery. These are my photos. Um, what you'll see is when I start looking for photos, all of the chrome disappears so that you're fully immersed in just that application of what you want to see. If I want to share a picture, I can use the bottom edge of the phone to bring in controls. So I can just choose to share um, or delete that picture um, or edit in any way just to, by bringing in those controls. Take us back. Um, and the top edge of the phone, um, you can access networks, battery life. If I wanted to change the brightness, I could do it directly from the top of the screen. Perfect. So again, you don't have to go back to your home screen, go into settings, that kind of thing to do. The other cool thing from here is if I go into messages, again, you'll see that they're coming through from Skype, um, from Facebook. So. Um, web apps and um, native apps sit as equal citizens on the phone. Okay. So, I, so when you pull it up from the top to the bottom, it's always first messages and you have to uh, keep that. Yeah, you go to the left and to the right to go yeah. from, okay, from yeah. different settings. We uh, can just go from that to Okay, well. depending on from where you start yeah. to pull it down. Okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I can... Let's see. I can choose to respond without actually ever accessing the, the Facebook application. Oh, okay, that's good. Um, and that's, uh, that's the Ubuntu in a nutshell. Okay, Ubuntu maybe can, can I show this to the, the keyboard, maybe? Like, for example, write a message yeah, on absolutely. Gmail or. So, why, um, let me just see. I'm not, I don't have connected. I've been thrown off the net. It's very slick though, I like it. Yeah. It looks beautiful, yes. Uh, Hello. Okay. So is there maybe different language options that you can of course set in the settings or...? Um, there will be, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But those are the small details, I guess. So. But important ones. Yeah, of course. <laughs> and I guess the camera works also just fine and... Yeah, I can show you the camera. So, just up. Sorry. I'm going to take a picture of this guy's feet. <laughs> okay. Then it probably saves in the gallery, yes, and then we are back where we were before. Okay. Sorry, it should show in the gallery, yeah. It should show in the gallery. They're probably all the way on the end. It's, 
At least how it's an iOS. Yes, exactly. Perfect. And then you can share it just, yeah. Maybe you can share that too. Okay. If I'm online, it will work. Hi. Beautiful. Okay. Thank you very much.